so much for joining us. I'm independent journalist Georgia Ford. We begin today. I'm living my ancestors' wildest dreams right now. In this week's Joyride, we introduce you to local musician Butchie Austin. We launched a TV show. It is historic in that it's the first independently produced TV show that's hosted by a Black woman in the state of Minnesota. It's called Here's the Truth with Georgia Ford. Hello, I'm so <laughs> delighted to see you. Oh, I first met Georgia when so she and I were both on here. KMOJ Radio, Minnesota's oldest Black radio station. The day that her billboards debuted, my phone went crazy. People were like, did you see our Georgia Ford? She's on the corner here, she's on the corner there. She, they were taking pictures. Yeah. I mean, you've got your episodes mapped out, your schedule. It feels incredible. I have encountered a lot of adversity working in media here in Minnesota. And instead of giving up on my dream of telling stories. The public deserves to know that all the cases are not being reviewed. That wasn't our intention to be misleading. I created a different pathway for myself. I own my own media company called Black Press. As an independent journalist, to be one of two in the courtroom during the sentencing of Derek Chauvin was historic. That was a pivotal moment for me. If I could turn back the hands of time and speak to the Georgia who was a student at the University of St. Thomas, I would tell myself, it's gonna be okay. Keep moving forward. The pride that people have in our community for Georgia and her work is the most gratifying because she has earned every bit of our love. Minnesota has decided that there is a need for authentic storytelling from a Black perspective. Oh my goodness. I think her daughters can look her in the eye and say she did everything she thought she could to speak truth on behalf of people who otherwise might not have been able to speak their own truth. It's priceless. I'm serving my community every day. And if I don't get out of bed and I don't go tell the stories, those stories may not be told. Our history could be erased. We're changing the world one story at a time. And I'll see you next Saturday at 11.